All right, so once you have your firmware installed on your USB jump drive, just go ahead and put this in. First, PS4 is off. No, that. And then you're gonna hold the power button down for about seven seconds. You're putting the PS4 into safe mode. There we go. And it'll come on. When it comes on, it should tell you something about connecting your uh, controller. Go ahead and connect your controller and press the PS button. Now on this screen you're going to go all the way down to initialize PS4, reinstall system software. Click OK. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Now uh, you can go ahead and click yes because your users, when you bring back your PSN account, your PSN information such as friends and stuff is not even on the system. It's in PlayStation server, so you're all good, and you already backed up your save data, if you did. So just go ahead and click yes, and boom. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> they're being deleted. And if this is too much emotion for you, just sing that song. Bye. Everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a pretty fast process, so it shouldn't take long. Now, after this is done, I'll show you exactly how to bring your files back from your backup jump drive. Alright, so after it's done doing all the installing and crap, go ahead and follow the on screen stuff. Pick wherever you are, if you notice I'm speaking Dutch. Alright, um. Next. Oh yeah, another good thing. Earlier I mentioned I didn't have my internet here, but I borrowed this from my computer tower because you already need the internet connection as well, especially when it comes to setting back up your PSN profiles. No, not that one, but the other one. There should be another one. There you go. There's a one. For my 3DS, only two came up, so I picked the other one. It's 838 here. Okay, well, I don't know if we're Central or Eastern Time. No, we're Eastern Time, but, but go up. Wherever we are. Go up. East, Eastern Time? No, go up, Bresky. This is to, Eastern Time. But till you see eight, because it's eight. There you go. Eight. There you go. Pacific. Wait, Pacific? no. Pacific? Yeah, we are. No. <laughs> it's, it, ha it has to be. It's 8.39. Oh, wait, so no, that's not it. Hold we can get that pause. I don't want to sing the song. I want to Okay, so we came to the conclusion we have no idea what time zone we are. <laughs> so we're just gonna go with Eastern time. Alright. <clears throat> okay, and I believe this is today's time. Oh, we can set the time. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Good we are. Uh, yes, it not, is uh, March 20th. Genius. 840. Okay, so no, this is not correct. <gasps> oh, really? Cause I thought I Let's freaking see. said it was Oh, we are oh. central. <laughs> yes, we are central. That's what it seems like. And this is Texas, so if we're not central, put that in the comments below. Please <laughs> Help give me more knowledge. Let me know what time zone. As if we, we don't are. got Google. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. So what is this? This is pretty much your general settings you're gonna do for power saving settings. So you can always do this after it's all done, or you can do it now. It is your call. Put this up. Start now. So now we gotta go ahead and add the user. So plug in your USB drive that you stored all your data on. Just plug that in. Alright, so after it's done for all the updating, firmware, and all that stuff, before you can actually bring your saved data over, some say you, some actually said they didn't need to do this, but most actually do. And of course the system will also correct you as well. But mainly you're gonna have to reinstall the game. So, go ahead and put the game in. Disc is loading. And it is installing. Now, after this process is done, once this is done, you will end up going to your settings, okay? And you will go to application save data. 
excuse me, if you save your data on your USB drive, you will click save data on USB and you will go to copy to system storage. Now this is after, I repeat, after the game has actually installed the files. When that is done, you will go to the game that installed and you will select keys and you will hit copy. In this case, I have to wait till it's done. And there you go. That's how you bring your save data back. Alrighty, later guys, have fun.